All right, another day, another Diddy video. It's unbelievable, dude. At the end of my day, I always just search Diddy, and I'm like, what happened today? And we got a lot of stuff that happened today, okay? So we got Diddy's children issuing a statement following more lawsuits against the rapper. You got this one right here. Uh, this is pretty serious. Uh, his uh, personal trainer is claiming that he got drugged and passed around like a party favor to A-listers. Okay, that sounds very believable. Uh, we got this one where Jennifer Lopez's ex-husband tells the story of her leaving him for Diddy and how Diddy just snaked her and, uh, you know, all of that. And then we got this one. No party like a Diddy party. Uh, LeBron James caught hyping Diddy wild events in resurfaced video. And then the kicker, a big one, a pro athlete allegedly stopped Diddy from assaulting a party guest. This is out today. I am going to pose a question to you. You think it's LeBron? Is there a way that LeBron is a hero in this story? That he walked in on Diddy about to assault somebody and he was all, hey man, you better take your hands right off that guy's junk. Okay, because that is the story that it was a, uh, a big pro athlete. We're going to read this article. We're going to find out whether or not it is um, LeBron or someone else. So that's what we're gonna do. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. Ring that bell, because then you'll get alerted when I upload, because uh, you might not. Otherwise, I talk about a lot of things you might not, you know, they might not want you to hear about. It's important that you ring the bell. Uh, all right, so let's jump into this story. We're gonna go in order. Now, depending on where we are in this video, you may not realize yet that LeBron James is actually potentially a hero in this story that we're gonna talk about in the Diddy video, okay? And regardless of whether or not it ends up being uh, LeBron, whoever the celebrity athlete is, they saved a guy who was being assaulted by Diddy. And that's why we're talking about prize picks right now. And we're gonna do NBA because there's a lot of NBA guys who went to those Diddy parties and one of them saved some guy's dignity and potentially his uh, other parts of his body from full assault. How many opportunities do you get to both support me as a creator and also a hero? That's what I'm offering you right now. So prizepicks.com is a daily fantasy sports company that offers you the ability to play the simplest fantasy sports game ever. All you do is literally go, we're doing basketball right now, you pick a certain guy who has a more or less than a specific stat line and you pick how you think they're gonna do in that game, okay? You got Denver guard, Russell Westbrook. You may have heard of him. He used to play for Oklahoma City. That's who he's playing. Do you think he's gonna make more or less than one, I'm sorry, half of a three-pointer? So he makes one three-pointer, you picked right, I'm picking more. Let's pick one other guy. Let's say Wemby, you think he's gonna get more or less than four and a half assists? I'm going more. Okay, now you can obviously keep adding them, but if you just do two, two guys, and you get correct, both of them right, you can triple your money. $20 entry fee, $60 win, that's what it is, and that is the one that I'm submitting for right now. And you got UFC coming tomorrow, uh, day after tomorrow. So get on it quick. You can use the link in the description and use my promo code Jesse on Fire to get $50 bonus money when you play $5 on a game. Enjoy yourself. So, Diddy's children issued a statement following more lawsuits against the rapper. And uh, we're going to go over those lawsuits because, oh my gosh, dude, this guy is scum. Okay, bad boy executive is further facing numerous lawsuits accusing him of graping, drugging people, which he has denied. A new wave of lawsuits emerged this week, including one woman accusing Diddy of graping her as a 13-year-old. This doesn't even include the ones for today, too. <laughs> it's insane, dude. This is insane. This is actually really sad, dude. This post right here is really sad. Okay, so this says uh, Diddy is father to seven children ranging from ages 33 to one years old. Man, dude, you know, like, look at this. I guarantee you when he is in his cell right now, this is all he's thinking about. This is it. He took everything for granted. He just, uh, not a good dude, man. Anyway, uh, past month, so this is their statement. The past month has devastated our family. Many have judged both him and us based on accusations, conspiracy theories, and false narratives that have spiraled into absurdity on social media. Well, the thing is, they don't really know if they're absurd or not. I mean, aside from the one about him calling his mommy, right? That's absurd. Okay, we can agree on that. That one's absurd. But aside from that, you don't know if they're absurd. Okay? You have no idea. Seems to be a lot of uh, consistency in these things, you know? We stand united, supporting you every step of the way. We hold on to the truth, knowing it will prevail, and nothing will break the strength of our family. We miss you and love you, Dad. They sh did. Diddy should have ran, man. 
He should have taken whatever money he could get a hold of and ran out of this country to Bali or somewhere else, non-extradition, because this is not going to play out well. Okay, so here is uh, the the new lawsuit uh, that, uh, whoa, what's what's this? What is this? I'm sorry, but we had to do it. We had to do it. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> oh, man. In 2012, Bieber punked Taylor Swift. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> so Sean Diddy Combs accused of drugging personal trainer and passing him around like a party favorite to A-listers. What is up with, like, did Diddy like girls? How come? It's, it's all dudes, man. It's like all dudes. Every news story is all dudes. Or at least most of them. What's up, dude? You don't like girls, Diddy? How come you don't like girls? How come you only like dudes, man? I didn't think being bi was a real thing. Did you guys think? Like, I always thought bi was made up. I always thought if you're bi, like, if you're a dude and you're like, I'm bi, it's like, you're gay. Just go ahead and just, I mean, it's fine, dude. All right? It's fine. Look in my eyes, okay? Okay. Look at him real hard. Look at it in my eyes. You know you're gay. You know you want this. I'm just kidding. But I really did. I always thought that like being bi meant you're gay. There's no like straight dudes that, you know, well, I'm not straight. I'm bi. Okay. But like, come on. Come on. But apparently not. Apparently, if you are uh, Diddy, you're like, whatever. You just dudes, girls, who cares? Sean Diddy Combs has been accused of drugging a personal trainer and passing him around like a party favor in a lawsuit filed on Sunday. In court documents obtained by page six, the alleged victim identified only as John Doe. A lot of John Doe's, man. A lot of John Doe's, right? Uh, detailed how the bad boy records founder, 54, and others allegedly drugged and repeatedly assaulted him at an awards show after party at Combs Los Angeles mansion in June of 2022. Why is this so consistent, man? Like, listen, I understand people are coming around for money and it's like, oh, maybe these are just the crazies. But when they're all saying that they're all saying the same thing, man, they're all saying the same thing. Oh, man. The trainer claimed that he met Combs to a client who was a fashion designer and had shown the Revolt co-founder his workout videos. Uh, the I'll Be Missing You MC was... It, that's really? The I'll Be Missing You MC? How about just Diddy? Diddy was impressed by the fitness guru's videos and allegedly... I thought this is a, Jane, uh, a John Doe. Fitness guru. So he's a fitness guru, guys. Uh, allegedly invited him to be an exclusive awards show after party guest at his $40 million home, uh, home, Holmby Hills home, Holmby Hills. Um, Diddy's sunglasses here, you can see are very, very dirty, mm -hmm, very dirty. This is what happens when you are the devil. Your sunglasses get super dirty and you don't even care because you're not looking at people. You can't see their eyes. You don't care, dude. You don't care. Can they see your wee wee when you're like, put this in your mouth? Huh? I don't need to see to know whether you've put it in your mouth or not. Put it in your mouth or else I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you. Prior to the party, Combs had won a Lifetime Achievement Award uh, at the 2022 BET Awards. When the trainer arrived at Combs' home, he was asked to sign a non-disclosure agreement before entering and instructed to drink a tequila soda with cranberry juice mixer, according to the lawsuit. Eventually, a business associate of Combs guided the plaintiff from a large room illuminated with red lights into a smaller room. There, plaintiff observed approximately a dozen individuals, including several well-known figures who were engaging in group sex activities. The alleged victim claimed he started to feel disoriented, dizzy, and weak, and realized he had been drugged. Look at this house, man. I mean, this house just screams, put on a mask and put me in the movie Eyes Wide Shut. You know, this is where the Eyes Wide Shut, like modern day Eyes Wide Shut happens. Man, that is a badass house, man. That is a badass house. Forty million dollars. Good Lord. Whenever I get my hundred million dollar like podcast contract, I'm still not buying a 40 million dollar house because I can't afford it. I only made a hundred million uh, this, uh, at this moment, realizing his significant impairment, Combs approached plaintiff, plaintiff removed his pants and be, before, be performing non-consensual oral search on him. The hip hop mogul allegedly directed the personal trainer to perform oral on another celebrity in the room described as a celebrity, a in the court papers who then spit in his mouth. 
Oh my God. Oh my God. Spit in his mouth, dude. My face. Look, it takes a lot to like to shake me up on on a on this story, but a dude, like a celebrity dude, spitting in a dude's mouth. Oh God. That was fake, but I did feel like almost throwing up. While in and out of consciousness, individuals at the party be, uh, forced plaintiff into acts with both men and women. Texas-based attorney Tony Bus. Oh, this is the Tony Busby one. Oh, wow, dude. Plaintiff's physical disposition made it impossible for him to reject their advances or, other, or, or otherwise control his body. Jesus, man. These individuals, uh, including Combs, essentially passed plaintiff's drugged body around like a party favor for their enjoyment. The suit also included a picture of a container allegedly used by Combs or his team to insert depressant dr- G- uh, GHB into alcoholic drinks. Uh, in response to the lawsuit, Combs rep said in a statement, the lawyer behind the lawsuit interested in media attention um, Oh, rather than the truth, as is obvious from his constant press security. Okay, so as we said before, Mr. Combs cannot respond to every new publicity stunt. Um, okay, so they're denying it. Wow, really? Wait, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. He's denying it's true? Diddy's not just coming out and being like, yeah, I did do this one. I did do this one. This guy is, listen, here's what happened. I am just going to tell you exactly what happened, okay? I saw one of this guy's, like, you know, workout videos, and he was like, pump up, pump down, pump up, pump down. And I was like, I got to have it, man. You know that feeling, like, when you got to have it? And so I told my people, look, I want you to just kind of sly invite him to the VMAs. And I want to make sure he doesn't know what's coming. So then invite him to the after party. Make it like a really big deal when he gets there. You bring him in the living room. I want you to have a drink. I want it to be tequila with a cranberry mixer with GHB in it. I want you to hand it to him right when we meet. I'm going to cheers him. We're going to drink really hard. I obviously will not have GHB in my drink. And then as he gets woozy, keep an eye on him. You'll be able to tell, you know. Then as soon as he gets a little bit woozy, I want you to take him back to room number six, white room six, all right? I want you to loosen his pants a little bit, right? So they're easy to get off. So then as soon as he gets in there, I can take it and just rah, 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 rah. Yo. So that's what I did. Is that assault? <laughs> I'm Diddy, dude. I do what I want. You sick fuck. Okay, so Jennifer Lopez's ex-husband. Now, we're going to do this. Then we're going to get into the LeBron James story, which is shocking. It also might not be LeBron, but it might be. You know, might be. You just never know. All right, so Jennifer Lopez's first ex-husband, oh, Johnny Noah, blames uh, Diddy for their divorce. Here's the deal, dude. This is really, really simple, Okay. This guy said when Sony came and paid her millions, she got uh, paid her the millions she got. There was Puffy, who was going to be the, one of the producers on several tracks from the album on the six. That's where the deception, the lies, and the separation started. So, bottom line is, she got all that money and she started recording with Puffy. She was with him in the you know in the studio, yada yada yada. She's away from her husband, and lo and behold, she was like, you know what? He's a, you know, he was a nice catch when he was, I, he was a millionaire and he was a cook, but now I'm a millionaire and Diddy is a big time millionaire at the time. He's also super famous. I think I'm just going to upgrade and he's trying to F, so I'm probably going to F him and then I'm going to lie to you about it and I'll probably leave you. So here's the moral of that story, gentlemen. Don't ever let your wife get more famous than you. Okay. If you're famous, make sure you don't ever let her get more famous than you. And if you're not famous, don't let her get famous. Ask Laura Bo- Laura, Laura Bo- Lauren Boebert's family about that. It's unnatural. Or if your wife is rich as fuck, that's fine. Just you need to be famous. Okay? You can't let her be both more rich and more famous. Now, you can be richer than her if she's famous. You got to be a lot richer, though, even if you're not famous. But there's a balance to these things. If she's rich and famous and you're not... Sorry, dude. A guy can be rich and famous and the girl not, and he'll, you know, potentially be loyal to the girl, maybe. But, you know, I just don't listen to anything I'm saying right now. I'm just talking nonsense. I just wanted to make fun of this situation because, uh, you know, she better dealed him for Puffy. For Puffy. Hey, how'd that go, Jennifer Lopez? What do you mean? Did your new boyfriend shoot anyone in the face in front of you and then hand you a gun to hide? Did that happen? Oh, I don't know if I could still talk about that. No, you can't. 
I don't, you, you really shouldn't, you know? God, man, she just doesn't age. She's a fucking vampire. Look at her on the right and then look at her now. She looks exactly the same. <sighs> Diddy looks pretty similar too, except he's not in a prison jumpsuit like he is now. Ooh. All right, now let's do LeBron real quick and then I'm going to go do more jujitsu. All right, so LeBron caught on a hype on video hyping Diddy's wild events. Now let's see if he is a hero or not. So LeBron says, ain't no party like a Diddy party. LeBron James is under scrutiny after a resurface video shows him praising Diddy's parties amid the mogul's serious sex trafficking charges. LeBron James is the latest addition to Diddy's ever-growing drama list. A resurface video from four years ago shows James praising Combs' infamous parties. Now, let me, guys, let me ask you guys a question. Where, um, where did Diddy's home get raided again? Miami. Miami, LeBron, Miami, LeBron, Miami, LeBron. Oh, that's right. He was on the heat for a really long time. I wonder if he ever saw Diddy down there. I wonder if Diddy ever met him and then invited him to any freak offs. Hmm. Yeah. I wonder if a six foot 10 dude with a 17 inch boop would be a nice addition to a freaky sex party that some degenerate freak who's down to bang dudes and girls would be putting on at a 30 or $40 million mansion. I wonder if that would be something that Diddy would want to do. And you heard Russell Brand say, you can't say no to Diddy. So I'm just saying like, maybe there's a high probability that LeBron had a relationship there. So um, now let's just take that information that we know and let's go over to this fucked up story. Okay. So let me move this a little bit. Uh, oh my God, you guys don't look at my tabs. Just kidding. I really don't want you looking at my tabs, though, just because it's they're ugly to look at. All right, so look at that. Look at the tabs across E! Entertainment. News, photos, videos, shop, Kardashians, royal. That's insane. I've never seen that before. Okay, pro athlete allegedly stopped Sean Diddy Combs from sexually assaulting a party guest. Sean Diddy Combs is facing a civil lawsuit from a male party guest who alleged the rapper sexually assaulted him at a 2022 party before a professional athlete and everybody. Jesus, this is another dude. This is, I didn't even realize that. We got two new dudes accusing him of very credible. Th what is this? is insane, dude. This is insane. And by the way, look down at the bottom. Sean Diddy co uh, accused of raping a 13 year old girl. This just, you know, listen, it's, it's really reasonable to uh, believe that none of this is true. Uh, kids. So, uh, all right. Sean D. Combs has been accused of sexually assaulting a man who said the alleged attack only stopped because of the intervention of a professional athlete. So, in a civil complaint against the rapper uh, filed October 20th, the man who filed under the anonymous alias John Doe alleged the incident occurred in 2022 during a party in Los Angeles. The petitioner described in the lawsuit as the owner of a family business specializing in renting luxury cars and jewelry said he was invited to the event by Combs. Okay, so like first you have people over here. They're all, I am a celebrity fitness guru. And Tim Giddy's all, oh uh, yeah, you want me to put some fitness on that ass, son? And then this guy's like, I rent out luxury cars and jewelry. And Diddy's all, wow, that's amazing. Why don't you come over to my house and I'll turn you into some jewelry I'll wear around my penis. What? <laughs> oh man if you guys knew how much shit i say like that that i edit out of these videos man jesse why are you vaping oh because it'll show me on the timeline a big gap in audio so i'll know where to edit that joke out about him wearing his wearing the guy like a piece of jewelry around his penis that that's why empty space so it'll be easy to find this you guys won't see it though so it's fine uh, where is this freak jeweler guy in the story? La, 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 Oh, the petitioner described the lawsuit as, what? I already said that. God damn it. Plaintiff assumed Combs wanted to have a discussion about business. <laughs> the business of pulverizing that booty. However, plaintiff immediately realized Combs was intoxicated and acting strangely. Combs then removed his pants and exposed his genitals to the... <laughs> Oh my God, this is so ridiculous, man. This is horrifying. Combs then removed his pants and exposed his genitals to plaintiff. Um, oh my God, man. For God's sake. Another, I need another uh, audio break. 
You can't laugh when you say that, dude. This is an assault, Jesse on fire. Okay. Okay. <laughs> this is so ridiculous, man. Okay. Come on. Get it together. It's not funny. It's not funny. Okay. Okay, plaintiff assumed Combs wanted to have a discussion about business. However, plaintiff immediately realized Combs was intoxicated and acting strangely. Combs then removed his pants and exposed his genitals to the plaintiff. <laughs> Fuck, man. Uh, according to the filing, before grabbing the plaintiff's own genitals and squeezing them in a rough and sexual manner. <laughs> I can't, dude. <sighs> okay. Um, and it's, oh my God. And it, <laughs> Jesus squeezing them in a rough and sexual manner. Plaintiff shocked and disoriented the com the <laughs> Jesus man. This is so this is nuts, man. Who talks like this? Plaintiff shocked and disoriented the co the complaint reads did not know how to respond to the weirdly inappropriate sexual advance made by Combs. According to the lawsuit, the situation escalated until unnamed professional athlete entered the office and intervened with which ended which ended the Combs assault. The plaintiff says he suffered significant emotional distress and trauma as a result of the alleged incident. He's suing Combs for compensatory and punitive damages. Oh, my God. Now, this is correct. Combs is a menace to society, women, and children. So, yeah. Bottom line was that heroic professional athlete, LeBron James. Could it have been him that saved this guy's life? I don't know. My tone is probably completely wrong for this video. I apologize for that. But when people say squeezing genitals, I kind of lose my shit. I love you guys. Subscribe to the channel. Ring the bell. Bada bada bye.